Well, hello, Canadian Campaholic here with just a very quick uh, little bit of an advice video for you. Uh, something I'm a little ashamed to admit, although I've said many times on this channel, I am not an RVing expert. This one's a little bit embarrassing. So we've had trailers of various types uh, for well over 10 plus years. Always had them insured, or so we thought. Never occurred to me that you can't just and this is in Canada, by the way, this may differ depending on where you live, may differ based on federal, state, provincial laws where you are. But anyway, I'm in Ontario, Canada, and this is the general thing that I want to discuss. When you insure your trailer, if you're going to insure it through your auto insurance, oh God, this road's bumpy, sorry, it's a gravel road. That only covers the trailer when it's being towed down the highway. So if you go off in the ditch or someone hits you or you get into an accident and the trailer's damaged or written off, in theory, and check your policy details, the auto insurance will cover the trailer if it's covered under the auto policy. What if it's in your laneway? What if a tree falls on it? What if it's stolen out of your driveway? And this is the kicker and it never occurred to me. You have to have another form of insurance for that. You can either add it to your home insurance policy or get a separate policy exclusively for the trailer on the premises. You know, maybe you are a renter and you only have tenants insurance for content insurance. There are companies that will give you insurance to cover the vehicle, uh, the, sorry, the RV in the event that something happens to it at your property. Now, you've gotta be very careful. Holy hell, this gravel road's bad. You've gotta be very careful to read the fine print. Uh, we signed up with an insurance company. I won't mention the name but the list of things it wouldn't cover was enormous. Now there were weird things on there like nuclear war, uh, acts of terrorism, but there was an awful lot on there like floods and things that were also not covered. So read that fine print. But it's scary to me to think that for all these years we've owned trailers, and of course now we have a house where we park it on the laneway, it could have been stolen and it wouldn't have been covered. And I don't know that the financing company would want to just keep taking my finance payments if they knew the trailer was toast or stolen. They'd probably want all their money in one lump sum and I'd be screwed. So the moral of the story, folks, is uh, please talk to an insurance professional. Talk to a broker. Talk to your insurance company. Get the scoop on what you need to properly insure your rig, whether it's a motorhome, fifth wheel, travel trailer, it doesn't matter. Don't just get one type of coverage and assume everything is copacetic. It might not be. Uh, anyway, you know, RVing is a <laughs> long time learning journey and I've learned my lesson with this one, folks. So anyway, we're gonna wrap this video up. Camping season's gonna kick off for us in about a couple of weeks here. A little bit of maintenance to do on the trailer. We've got an issue with the fridge. i got to change the sensor in the fridge, stop it freezing everything. Got to flush the water system, do all my spring maintenance. Uh, there's a channel, a video on the channel, rather, already that talks about spring maintenance uh, from last year. Uh, but anyway, hope you are having a great uh, spring and you've got some camping booked. We'll talk to you later.